found a lot for me. Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not keep you up this time Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is over Let us pray. Today we assemble in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for who you are in our lives. We thank you for the grace to be in your presence and to bless you with your heart's desire for Frank and Amanda. We pray that you will continue to give your strength, your wisdom, your power in this marriage and that you will be glorified in their lives. Father, we know that marriage is your perfect plan for man and woman. Therefore, perfect Frank and Amanda that they can walk in that plan. I pray that your peace and your joy will bring completeness to their lives, to the lives of Frank and Amanda, and to the many witnesses here today. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we know that marriage is your perfect plan, and we, your children, get to be a part of that plan. Amen. Amen. Frank and Amanda have asked you, their family and friends, to share in their joy and to witness their vow of marriage and their love and dedication for each other. Frank and Amanda, God has destined the term husband and wife as the highest, most respectable position given to man and woman. In the beginning of time, God created man, and he knew it wasn't good for man to be alone, so he therefore created woman. Therefore, God instituted marriage as the only position where two people will become one as husband and wife, where they can multiply and be fruitful. You see, marriage wasn't just God's plan for the family. It was his perfect plan for the family. Ultimately, marriage is the institution where two people will humbly lay down their lives for one another. The Bible tells us that when two people unite in marriage, their bodies are no longer their own, but now belong to the one they married. Ultimately, marriage is about valuing your partner more than yourself. The Bible says this about valuing your spouse in marriage. Frank, to the man, the Bible says this in Ephesians chapter 5. Husband, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husband, you ought to love your wife as your own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. Amanda, the Bible also says this to the wife. 
In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22, the scripture said, Wives, submit to the husband as you would to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. You see, the Bible says be submissive. Because submissiveness always depends on God. What submissiveness does, it ushers in faith, hope, and love. To both spouses, God said this, always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. You see, both spouses have an obligation, as we can see, to lay down their lives for one another so that God can be glorified. Both spouses have to depend on faith, hope, and love. We need faith because faith believes God for the many changes that come in life. We need hope because hope always depends on God's promises. We need love because love is the essence of a successful, strong, healthy marriage. In the book of Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7, it says this. Always, love always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. So today, we have two candles. Actually, we have three candles. Symbolic to unity and the promise of unity between Frank and Amanda. It's also symbolic to families that are merging together. And so if I could have the mother and the father come up while I play the song. I can have you each take a candle and light it up. And after you light it, you can hand the candle off to your daughter and your son. I dedicate this song to Frank and Amanda. Oh uh -huh. 